Hi, I'm Eric Glosser, and thanks for tuning in to Natchez TV. The Mississippi River. It's clear to see why they call it the Mighty Muddy. It is the largest river on our continent. It's the third largest river in the world. It's an asset of global proportion, and it runs right through our front yard. The Mississippi communities of Natchez and Vidalia wouldn't even exist if it weren't for the Mississippi River. The fortunes of those living in this community have risen and fallen with the importance they have placed on the Mississippi. Vidalia has always been associated with the Mississippi River. We were located on the river. Our history is the river. We were incorporated in 1870, but our history goes back even further than that. A lot of your plantation owners had land and property in Louisiana, and Vidalia was one of those sites. We've always been intertwined with the river ever since the beginning of this community. And so it's just, uh, it's a vital part of our past, our present, and our future. And we're doing what we can to associate ourselves with the Mississippi River and the importance of it uh, to us. The Mississippi River has always been our strength as far as the Mississippi River is concerned. And when we started in 1992, uh, working for economic development for Vidalia and the Mississippi region, the very first thing we discussed was the Mississippi River and basically what it could do as far as Vidalia is concerned, as far as the actual development of Vidalia itself. And so the end results, as you can see, is that we've got a five-star hotel, convention conference complex, medical complex, RV park. Uh, we're in the process of building a uh, new hospital on the riverfront. We're looking at retail, restaurants, etc. So it, it has become our major strength in our area and we're trying to do what we can to develop uh, the area pertaining to the Mississippi River. Also, uh, uh, along with that, uh, we're in the process of working to build a port. Uh, we're waiting for the Corps of Engineers to give us a final approval. That looks extremely good. How important is that? It's important as far as uh, recruiting new industries uh, to our area. Our new industrial park is located adjacent to the river, so we're developing that as we speak. We're building a new boat ramp facility. We just got approval for the grant. Uh, we're advertising uh, for that uh, uh, project. You can step down and almost touch the river. You'd be amazed, uh, Eric, at the amount of people who said, I've never seen the Mississippi River. I've never touched the river as old sand goes. And as, I did, as I've done my travels throughout the world, uh, the Rhine, the Seine, the Thames River in, in England, I always wanted to go see those historic rivers and so this is one of the things that we felt like uh, with being located right on the river that you can actually step down to the river itself. Kind of like Hook Finn used to say. <laughs> it's nothing like the Mississippi River. You may know that one reason that we're the most powerful country in the world is because we can get our goods to the international marketplace faster and cheaper than any other country. There are some countries now that can outproduce us because of the work that we have done in those countries in the 60s and the 70s. But what they can't do is get those goods out to the international marketplace, the raw materials, as fast as we can. And that's largely because of our inland navigation system that's totally reliable. Uh, the, the Corps maintains the uh, inland waterway channel guaranteed to be 300 feet wide and 9 feet deep. And you may can say, well, 9 feet is not a lot because there are places in the Mississippi that's over 100 feet deep. But when you consider that's the standard throughout the entire system, then the barge industry you know, builds their barges to accommodate that, and it makes it a standard. And so if you just give you that kind of an order of magnitude, if you, you know, most people have not been on the river or been over a levee to look on the river, but you'll see barge traffic out there. You'll see these toes pushing uh, barges. For every one barge, that's 60 18-wheelers. That's what people know about every one barge. Now the toes you see sometimes, you, you may see a toe pushing 48 barges. So that's 48 times 60 is the number of 18 wheelers off the road. So if you didn't have the inland navigation system, uh, then raw materials, you know, all the grain uh, that's produced in the Midwest, uh, the coal, all those things would be clogging up your, your, your railroads or your roads and uh, you wouldn't have much room, I don't think, for, uh, for people to travel. It's been a cost of a repair, and then the result in uh, pollution as well. One 15 barge tow uh, is equivalent to a, approximately a quarter of a mile length. Uh, two and a quarter 100 car train units 
is uh, a little less than three miles, and 875 or 870 large semis um, equate to about 11 and a half miles of traffic on the highways. Well, the fact is, you can't talk about the Mississippi River unless you talk about the valley and you talk about the drainage basins. 41% of the nation drains down the Mississippi uh, River, which includes 31 states and two Canadian provinces, making it the third largest river basin in the world. The Mississippi River is everything to Natchez. Uh, it's the reason why Natchez is here. Uh, it's also the reason why I think we're going to excel in the future economically. Uh, we have a lot of uh, great projects right now that are looking at Natchez because of the Mississippi River. I'm a very strong believer in asset-based development. Uh, it's obvious that the Mississippi River is the major strength for this community as well as any other community on the Mississippi River. Um, a lot of our projects are uh, due to the Mississippi River. We've got to continue to identify target markets that would utilize the river. And also I think as the world becomes more of a, a global economy, we have to uh, take advantage of the river to be on a level playing field. Put some first class into your celebration. Call First Class Limo. They'll put the dream into your wedding, the grand into your ball, the rad into your casino run, and make an adventure of your out-of-town excursion. First Class Limo also adds class to funerals and charters. For first class fun, go first class with First Class Limo. Voyage over to Planet Thailand on Commerce Street in downtown Natchez for a taste sensation that is out of this world. Lock on to the Miss Lou's only docking bay for Thai cuisine and fresh sushi, served in an authentic eastern setting. Touch down for the weekly lunch buffet or land Monday through Saturday nights to seek out and find a bold new world of flavor at Planet Thailand. Everyone agrees, pets get the best of care at the Miss Lou Veterinary Clinic. Dr. Debbie and Dr. Veronica and their caring staff can treat any pet, large or small, domestic or exotic. They offer traditional and non-traditional treatments to heal your loved one as fast as possible. Hospitalization and intensive care are available, as well as grooming and best friends boarding when you need someone you can depend on. And they carry a complete line of pet meds and nutritional products at the Miss Lou Veterinary Clinic on the Faraday Vidalia Highway. Big Mama's Southern Style Barbecue Catfish and More introduces the Working Man's Lunch. Sandwich of your choice, a side and a drink for $4.99. Supersize your sandwich for a dollar more. Big Mama's Family Deal feeds a family of four for $5 per person. Getting ready for the big game? Call ahead and pick up Big Mama's Finger Licking Tailgate Special. It feeds eight folks for only $39.99. Good eats at great prices at Big Mama's Southern Style Barbecue Catfish and More on John R. Junkin Drive in Natchez. Mississippi River is more than a passive economic resource. It actively generates revenue for those communities along its banks. Two branches of the U.S. military maintain a full-time presence on the Mississippi River, employing thousands while investing millions of dollars into those riverfront communities. The Corps of Engineers job is to one is to, on the Mississippi River, is to uh, reduce flood damages on, on the river for the people who live along the river. Uh, the other mission is to maintain the navigation channel itself. In maintaining the Mississippi River, and, and certainly in reducing floods, we also maintain reservoirs. These reservoirs capture the water upstream and so that uh, we can regulate it so it doesn't flood uh, communities. And then we can release it uh, to where, it, uh, at a time when um, it, 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 when, when it will have a least damaging effect on, on, on the people. Uh, we call them reservoirs, but people call them lakes, uh, and they become recreational lakes. And so one of our missions is recreation. Uh, we maintain those reservoirs. The primary purpose, of course, is for uh, reducing floods, but as a result of having those there, we, we, we actually maintain those. Corps of Engineers is the largest provider of waterborne uh, recreation in the nation. 
Uh, a lot of people don't know that. If you travel just up Mississippi alone, uh, up the corridor, Interstate the 55 corridor going toward Memphis, you'll pass by five of our lakes, even there. And each one of those lakes, uh, uh, the communities can tell you the millions of dollars in tourists and dollars that uh, economic uh, prosperity that's brought on to the community as a result of having those, uh, those flood control reservoirs uh, there. We consider Vicksburg engineer mecca for, for, for two reasons. One is that you have probably the single most uh, largest gathering of engineers uh, per capita probably anywhere in the nation. Uh, from the Corps of Engineers perspective, you have a divisional headquarters, the Mississippi Valley Division located here that has responsibility for the entire Mississippi River with its six districts, one in St. Paul, uh, one in Rock Island, Illinois, uh, St. Louis, Missouri, Memphis, Tennessee, Vicksburg, and then one in New Orleans. And then you have the, new, the Vicksburg District Corps of Engineers, which is located here. We also have the, the nation's engineering research and development center located here uh, in Vicksburg fondly referred to by the locals as West, but it really is much, much more than that. It has four laboratories here in Vicksburg. It has three laboratories outside of Vicksburg that it has responsibility for. We have more engineers too. We have you know, the Army uh, engineers, the 412th Engineer Command is here as U.S. Army Reserve and the 168 uh, Engineer uh, Battalion, uh, Mississippi National Guard. The Mississippi Valley Division, which has responsibility for the river, we employ over 6,000 uh, people. And if you add another, probably another thousand to that from the experiment station, so you're talking about really close to about eight or nine thousand uh, people employed by the Corps of Engineers along the Mississippi River. The Coast Guard's known as the Silent Service because they don't get a lot of uh, they don't get a lot of press, really. You know, you hear a lot about the other services. You don't hear a lot about the Coast Guard. It's the Silent Service, and I think that's the best part about it that the most people like is you go out, you do your job. You go home and, you know, we, we're, not how, we're not out here looking for rewards, we're just out here to do our job. What we do is we set aids to navigation buoys and we mark uh, shallow water and deep water so we have no accidents along the river. So commerce can get up and down the river so the mariners can come and go as they please and get supplies where they need to. Depending on if the river is kind of going up or down, we'll, uh, we'll look at the, the forecast that they, to see kind of if the river's going up or down. and. We'll move our buoys accordingly, and uh, depending on what's going on with the river, you know, some trips are easy and some trips are pretty tough where you're moving, it'll go from where you're not hardly moving any buoys to where you're moving every one of them. And uh, we also maintain the shore aids to navigation along the rivers too, and they're the, uh, what we call day boards, and they're lights. Uh, and they let the mariners know when they need to cross the river, and uh, basically, they're almost like a, mile, they're mile markers to let them know what mile that they're at and uh, at night they use them uh, because they're flashing lights and we maintain all those flashing lights and then uh, we'll have to like maintain the area around it and have to usually cut some trees and brush down as well. The Coast Guard is the authority on the river depending on what kind of problems you'll run into such as uh, if a barge runs aground or if there's a spill of any kind the Coast Guard will inspect uh, the crew the uh, and uh, the situation and uh, do what they need to do depending on what persists in that situation. It may not seem very exciting, but you know, a lot of people being on the Mississippi River marking the channel, but uh, if we weren't marking the channel for these mariners and they didn't know where to go, you know, you may not have corn on your, on your dinner table tonight. So <laughs> there's, there's around 200 Coast Guard members along the Mississippi River. Everybody lives and works right in the area. That, that's one of the biggest things that the Coast Guard enjoys is going out into the community and getting involved in different things such as here in Natchez would be uh, the Christmas parade we were a part of last year. We've helped the children's home here in town. Uh, community, the Coast Guard is a very community oriented service. Uh, we, we live here, this is our home, whether it be for two years, four years, or however long we're here. We do whatever we can to help the community out because that's where we're living and that's where our kids are growing up. One of the things we've done here in Vicksburg is we created an annual boat trip for the senior citizens. So we uh, collaborate with the Chamber of Commerce, uh, the Retirement Development Association, the Senior Citizen Center, and we take them out on the river. And boy, I tell you, it is so satisfying and gratifying uh, to see them and to hear them tell me that this is so great. Someone who lived in Vicksburg all their lives had never been on the, 
on the river. So the part I like is that I can, uh, I have the opportunity and the ability to share this, this vital resource with others. We are the most powerful country in the world uh, because of the Mississippi River. A lot of people don't understand that because it allows us to be an economic power. Without an inland waterway system, you know, we would not be able to do that. And so we have to preserve it, we have to maintain it, we have to operate it. So it's pretty awesome that uh, this great group of folks called the Army Corps of Engineers uh, has that responsibility.